pre-convolved radiance caching. This supplemental video compares radiance caching, seen here, irradiance caching, seen now, and our approach on different scenes. Our approach, seen now, provides quality similar to radiance caching, seen now, at a speed similar to irradiance caching, seen now. Our approach works as follows. Instant illumination is computed at a sparse set of well positions, the cache, here shown as disks. We store illumination of all caches into one large image, shown right. Next, we pre-convolve, this is blur, the incoming light, with different kernel sizes. This is efficiently done using MIP mapping. Please consider this single cache item seen now. Given a frame buffer with position, normal, specularity and glossiness, the contribution to a pixel, here shown as a black square, is computed as follows. First, the reflected direction is mapped to one pixel location, here a yellow square. Second, a MIP level is selected based on the glossiness, here a pink square. Consequently, only one bitmap construction per cache item and one texture read per pixel is required. A scene with caustic rendering using radiance caching, using irradiance caching, and our approach. Note how radiance caching produces negative and overshot light and how specular bounces are missing in irradiance caching. A complex scene rendered using radiance caching, irradiance caching, and our approach. Both our approach and radiance caching preserve fine indirect lighting details, such as seen here and here. However, our approach is more than an order of magnitude faster. Thank you.